everybody, this is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com. In this video, I want to share with you how to customize these party invite templates. Okay, these are created by me and I've contributed it to our treasure box for Canva creators. I really hope you like it. I had so much fun creating. These are so so colorful, so bright and cheerful. It just brings me so much joy to create them and I really hope that the users, the recipients, you know, your customers will also love them. Okay, so now what can we do with these party invitation templates? As always, I like to go to file and make a copy so that I have an original untouched version of the template in my Canva dashboard. Okay, and let's look at this one. Let me just make a duplicate of it. The monsters are cute, but maybe I don't really want this. Maybe I want it to be a vehicle theme instead. You know, so, oh wait, I kind of like the abstract patterns. So let's just delete these, okay? Delete this and let's look for some cars and see what we get. Any cute cars? Go to filter and search for free ones. Okay, this is cute. Vroom vroom. I might even add some kind of cloud. Cloud? Steam? What should I search for? Cloud, steam, exhaust, gas, bubbles. Let's look for bubbles. Something that goes to the back of the car. <laughs> uh, what should we find? Nothing that I could use as a perfect fit. Okay, how about this one first? This is cute. I'm going to change the color to a light blue. Light shade of blue, just putting it down like this. Okay, this works. And go like a choo-choo-choo. <laughs> okay, like this. Maybe in decreasing size. And making it smaller. Like this. Okay, this is just some new design for it. And how about traffic lights since this is like a car theme? Maybe this one. I would rotate it. I kind of want it big at the corner like this. There we go. And then maybe just move the words a little bit. There we go. So that's the traffic light. And what else? Traffic cones. Okay, so traffic theme. Let's just put it here. And... How about a helicopter? This is cute. It matches that the same design feel like this. And maybe I want to add some clouds, real clouds in the sky now. How about this? Just putting it backwards. Oh, it could be a bit, yeah, it's kind of cool that it's forward too. Duplicating it, putting it backwards like this. I don't really mind all the other abstract patterns. It kind of adds to the look of it, but or I could just, yeah, it kind of adds to the look of it. So let's keep it that way. Or does it look strange? Does it look strange? Okay, maybe let's delete that. Delete that. But once we delete that, it becomes a lot more plain, isn't it? Yeah. All right. I regret. I'm gonna undo it. Don't worry, love the undo button for things like these. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll just get rid of the... Eh, just change the colors. Here, maybe just a bright green. And this one, possibly a red or a pink. And yeah, just playing around, you know, there's no right or wrong. It's just a colorful party invitation design. Okay, and what else can we have somewhere here? Something's missing. Um, what else can we think of? A plane? A drone? How about a drone? Anything cutesy that goes with this? these two? No, maybe I'm going to go back to the helicopter and then try to pick the same one and see if I can get any smart recommendations. Aha, magic recommendations, see all. They will usually recommend similar uh, designs for it. Okay, I like, the, I like the plane. Let's delete the helicopter. 
and we could move the move the plane okay so here move the plane flip it flip horizontally and go upwards maybe you should change the position of the helicopter and the plane now the cloud positioning it to the back and the plane zooming ahead like this maybe I'll delete that I think I'll delete the green thingy also that's it this one ah okay okay I'll delete that what I'll do is I'll probably add some more clouds to make it a little bit more to kind of fill up the space okay I kind of like the overlapping thing okay so I think I'm almost done maybe add some kind of road road at the bottom to also fill up the space let's see hmm ah this is cute but it doesn't really fit the how the car is moving isn't it Ooh. does it really matter let's just I mean it doesn't have to be scientific right <laughs> okay <laughs> positioning it backwards yeah something like that okay don't drive like this okay because um, okay I'm just gonna stretch it ah okay I think this looks better something like this is this better this looks better to me alrighty so this is my design for a birthday party invitation which I've modified based on page 4 trying not to touch the, the words and just trying to leave it like this so I want to sell it as an editable Canva template which is possible as long as my customers is only using it for their personal use so what I also want to do is to avoid you know making um, confusing them and I really don't want them to change the designs I only want to allow them to change the text Right, so in that case, I'm gonna make another duplicate of this. I just wanna make duplicates because uh, so that I have a copy where I know this is what I want. So I could download this page as PNG or PDF file and create a product banner that will showcase it on my shop or on Etsy that this would be like an example of the party invitation. But all these text boxes can be customized. So what I'm gonna do is I want to download this page, page six, as a PNG file to flatten this page. Okay, go to share, go to download, and going to page six and downloading it as PNG, and then just click on download and giving it a while. Okay, and then I'm going to go to file, create a new design because that is the template that I will share with my customers, searching for US letter size document. There we go. And then now that my PNG has been downloaded. I'm going to the upload section and upload my file. In order to upload, you could always just click on upload file and the window should pop up. But for some reason, it's not popping up. So I'm going to try a different way, which is just to click and drag the image right here. That will do also. So technically speaking, once I click the purple button, it should the window should pop up to allow me to select the files but for some reason it's not working but what I did was just click and drag for the image to appear okay in Canva and then now I have the image I'll resize it there we go so this image is flattened even when I sell this as an editable Canva template for my customers for their personal use they will not be able to change this design okay and then I'll come back here to hold down the shift key and select multiple items Control c to copy and then pasting it right here okay so and then i will go to share go to see all and make sure i'm sharing the template link okay so this is what i will be sharing with my customers when they buy this customizable party invite from me okay i will send them this link and when they open up they will open up in a Canva free account they can use this and it's not an issue at all so then of course as the parent if i have my hands on this uh you know i could just 
change it accordingly without worrying about the text, you know, matching the fonts and all that, right? All I have to do is basically just adjust it accordingly. Join us for the party and then I'll just type it in. Okay, so the idea is to make it customizable and yet keep it simple enough for people to know what to do so that they can customize and use this really easily. Okay, so that is how I would customize one of these pages inside this set of party invite templates and also how I would share it as an editable customizable Canva template for my customers for their personal use only. Okay, I hope you have some ideas from this quick video and I hope you enjoy using these templates. I'll see you in the next video.